Hi, welcome to a special episode of the Mad About You YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Madeline. I use she, her and her pronouns and I come to you on the land of the Gubby Gubby Cubby Cubby people of the Sunshine Coast and I pay my respect to elders past, present and emerging. This is a bit of a random video. Um, I was chatting with some friends, knitting friends last night and um, saying that I needed to go through my stash and just have a thorough reassessment of everything before I go to Europe on Friday, next Friday. Um, and so one of them suggested that I video it because she'd really like to see what's in my stash. How oh, funny. This is what people who don't have stashes say <laughs> to people like me who do. Um, so anyway, I thought I'm going to do it. It's this morning. My housemate has gone. I do have washing on, so there'll be a little bit of noise there. But basically what I thought we'd do is go through um, what I've got here. I've pulled out some stuff that's in a cupboard. And the other thing that I want to do is check that it's on Ravelry and if it's not, take the photos to make sure that it gets on Ravelry um, because um, it needs to be up there. And I feel like the purpose of doing this for me is um, last time when I did the Heartbreak Yarn Tour in 2019, I remember a link to that um, vlog down below, um, You, I basically uh, was heartbroken, funnily enough, with the name and I just went and bought what I wanted, what I fancied, and I haven't used a lot of that yarn since. Um, I'm not beating myself up about that. I haven't knit a whole lot in that time. We had um, 2020 when COVID started, um, and I was living interstate, and I was still pretty heartbroken, so my mojo was not around a whole lot. Then 20, I left my job and moved um, back home from Canberra to Queensland, where I live now, um, on Gubby Gubby country, and I uh, went back to university and studied a two-year master's in about 15 months. So, so I've been really busy. Um, yes, so anyway, that's enough of an intro. I'm going to go grab my iPad and my camera and so I can take photos of things that need to go on Ravelry. And um, yeah, we'll uh, tour the stash very shortly. Okay, I thought we might start our yarn tour in the heavier weight yarn. I have less of it. Um, and I have already noticed some that need to go on Ravelry. Just grab the trusty iPad. <clears throat> so, um, I will, I have the Ravit app on my phone, um, which I really enjoy for adding stuff quickly to Ravelry. Um, actually it's probably just easier to look it up on here because I don't think I deleted the app yet. It's my old phone, um, which I'm taking traveling with me. So I culled a lot of apps that I didn't need. Okay, in my Yarny notebook, my stash. Yeah, this is definitely not in there. All right, so I don't have tags for it. This is, I have four skeins of this. It's Bendigo Woolen Mills, um, Aaron. I want to say it was a classic maybe. Um, Actually, if I go to my frog projects on Ravelry, I will be able to tell you what it was because this was originally my Weekender. Um, it was Bendigo Willow Mills Luxury 10 ply. Um, the colorway was 307 slate and it's a blue. I have four of these. So um, when you buy from Bendigo Willow Mills, it comes in um, big 200 gram balls and I... Um, I started the weekend though, and then obviously, like I said, I frogged it. So um, I have four of these. I'd have, I actually will have to weigh them because I'm not entirely sure. I'm keeping, oh no, I have three. There must be, there's one more in another bag somewhere. I definitely have four of them. Um, so I frogged it, reskained the yarn last year in Vlogmas. If you, um, if you Vlogmas, you will, <clears throat> if you watch my Vlogmas, you would know. You might remember it was just before Christmas I think so I'm just going to take a quick photo that's color is not really showing up particularly well okay so oh this is going to be a mess um all right we're talking heavier weight yarn so I also have this which is a hand spun I got in a yarn fiber share yarn swap um it was spun by Pam Hutley um, this is hand spun pure wool two ply spun dyed um, with indigo. Uh, so I have no idea what I'm going to use that for, but probably a hat, I reckon. It's very lovely, close to my face. 
Um, unfortunately, these guys aren't dying anymore, which is why I haven't used it and I haven't got rid of it. This is Nundal, um, no, sorry, Nanabar yarn. Um, and I've knit a few things with Nanabar. This is an 8-ply um, in the colorway Paper Cranes. I have, um, this is a DK, I think, Salty DK, which is saltwater yarns. I very nearly used this um, for my, hmm, this one, um, it's an Andrew Mary Shift cowl, I think. And then I have two Louis and Lola DK weight yarns here. This is called Peach Light and the Blues, and these are Cradle DK Merino. I might actually add these to my D-stash pile because I don't see that I will be using them anytime soon and Louie and Lola is just too lovely for me to keep but we will see I reserve the right to change my mind in this process okay um more bulky-ish yarns this one is Nick Craft and Knittery they're also unfortunately no longer dying this was an iron weight yarn um I bought this in Scotland it is um West Yorkshire Spinners Croft Shetland it's 100% Shetland wool and then this is its friend. I bought these two to make um, something color stranded color work, I think. Um, it started to make a beanie and then frogged it. So it's um, like that. Then I have, um, this is cool. This is Great Ocean Road. Get my face out of it and I'm not focus. Great Ocean Road, Woolen Mill. This is called Eva. It's Polworth Alpaca DK. So I have no idea what um, I will make with this, but it's a nice Aussie yarn. So I will either keep it for me or send it to one of my friends in America as a gift. Some more hand spun by Pam. This was dyed with cochineal bugs. It's a hand spun pure wool two ply. Um, I think it's really like a DK irony weight yarn, which is why I've got it in this, this bag. Um, and then here I have some Manos del Uruguay 100% Merino Superwash. Um, it is uh, called Frida, the colorway, and I don't actually know. Serpentina, so I'm not quite sure what ply, like what, how, um, what weight of yarn that is. I hope this rustling isn't too loud and I'm trying a new wireless microphone so I, the other purpose of this video is to film it and edit it before I go and then I will know how good or bad the wireless microphone is um, and then whether to take it with me because it comes in a bit of a chunky case. Okay I'm not going to get these out these are five skeins of La Bien um, <coughs> excuse me it was a Vertices Unite baby blanket um, pack I don't think I'll be making a baby blanket, but um, I was probably looking at making the Douglas cardigan or um, the Amy cardigan, I think. Um, so it's DK weight. They're lovely. I bought it, um, I think, in 2020 um, at a state like a... She has her birthday sale. I think that's when I bought it. Okay. I think that's... Oh, no. These are some heavier weight yarns that are in my D-stash bag. Oh, these are fingering weight. Um, this is more Knitcraft and Knittery. These two, they are in weight. This is hand dyed. Oh, this is Bellevue Park wool. It's a 10 ply Aran, um, 100% super fine merino. And then these two are spun right round um, and they are four ply fingering. And the colorway is called Reaper's Rags. Just trying to see with this light, whether that's better. Ah, uh, so they, they are in my, currently in my trade or sell section on um, my Ravelry. Uh, some more chunky yarn uh, ish yarn that I have. Um, this was, it's almost a full skein of Louis and Lola Merino Nylon Sock. It's called Dash Hound Through the Snow and it was from my um, uh, 20, ooh, 2020 Advent um knit or an advent set and that's this color here because I didn't do my measurements right so I ended up having to do 25 um on my habitation throw so oops um I stole a little bit from this obviously to make that so I think it's about 90 grams now um this here is daffodil road 
Um, it's called The Last Battle. I think this was the Day 10 colorway as well from my, um, my Daffodil Road um, Advent kit. And I turned that into a blanket, which is too heavy and a little bit up there, so I can't pull that out. Uh, this was gifted to me by my friend Kara. It is Olan um, Donegal DK. I haven't knit with it yet. I really want to knit something. I'm not sure yet, which is why I still... Um, I still haven't knit with it yet, but she, it's a light worsted uh, DK weight yarn. And she bought this for me and sent it to me for my birthday, I think, um, from Ireland when she was living in the UK. I have some LBA DK. Oh no, Aaron, <clears throat> in my favorite color, this one is called Madeline, like me. Um, and then, this is uh, Kelborn Woolen, Kelborn, are oh, they actually called Kelborn Woolens? Yeah, so this is their scalp. It is a, I want to say it's a DK weight. <clears throat> uh, it's light in the American scale. Um, this colorway is called Coral Heather and then Navy Heather. And I plan to make some, um, Selbu mittens, I think, stranded colour work mittens with that. Um, and I bought them from Skein Sisters. So, yeah, they uh, still got them for now, but they might end up on my D stash later. I paid $29.50 for them, so we'd probably look at stashing them for $25 each, maybe. Um, all my stash lives in plastic bags. I don't have any pets yet. Um, so it's fairly, it's safe from all contaminants. This is Germantown by Kelborn Woolens. I bought four of these. I went on a beanie kick for a while and then moved to Queensland and there's really no need for beanies. Uh, so it's hand wash, dry, flat, low iron. Um, I don't know what weight it is. If it's four, so it would be an iron weight. There's a bit of glare because of this paper. Um, the plastic. Uh, so 100, 201 meters, 100 grams. And then I have, um, this is like my leftover DK and above, um, like partial skein box. Um, so that's little balls. And then this is like not insignificant pieces. This is my favorite yarn ever. It's Ching Fiber. I can't remember the colorway. I used it in that shift cowl that I absolutely hate, but I don't want to pull it apart because I would waste this. Um, I really love this yarn here too, which is a natural fiber arts, um, which is actually now local to me. It wasn't at the time. Uh, and so I love it. And I think my, um, my Foxberry would look really beautiful in that color. Um, so these are leftovers. No, uh, that is leftover from my Sol Dotna as is this um, I think I had one of the other colors too and that one too and then I used all of the teal this is left over from my radiate by Hohi which I have actually sitting just here because I've washed it um, this is a really beautiful saltwater yarns that I made my mama beanie out of I think I might have I was gonna say maybe I stole that back but I haven't um, so yeah, some of, I don't know, I need to come up with a DK weight scrappy project. Um, and then this is really beautiful, actually. I made a hat out of it. Um, I should, probably should rescan this. This is um, Juniper Moon Farm. It is a um, alpaca wool silk blend. I think it was a DK weight. Um, I made a really lovely hat out of it. Uh-oh, now that I've pulled that out, I don't think I'm going to get it back in. Um... It's lovely. I plan on making a pair of mittens to match the hat. I think I started and then got distracted, so it hasn't really progressed. Um, so that's my scrappy leftovers. Um, I'm, I'm liking that my de stash pile is kind of growing. Um, I think, oh no, it's a bit more chunky on. And then we're on to fingering weights. Another Manos, I think. Oh no, this is um, Malabrigo. 
I it's rasta rasta um, and I'm planning on making a pair of um, slippers out of this so it has a plan flip you around to so you see a little bit. This is my, um, uh oh, this is my shelf that I'm working with. Um, oh, and this is the last skein left over from my Foxberry. So it was Carnival DK by Circus Tonic. Um, it's the colorway Dawn and it was 100% non-superwash and I've really loved knitting with non-superwash. So that was great. Okay, let's move on to sock yarn that I have in stash. <coughs> or yarns, that's fingering weight that I plan on using for socks. I actually tried to, I did skein this um, and then tried to wind it, but it was like, it's a bit felty. Um, it's August Bird. Uh, it was white gum wool. They were hand dyed in the Adelaide Hills. This is Fantail in the colorway Ripe. And it's really lovely. I think it would knit up beautifully, but I can't, I couldn't, um, I kind of lost the patience when I was trying to wind it into a ball or onto a cone on my Swift. So that was no good. Um, so it's kind of in the naughty corner because it's, it's annoying me because I can't, can't deal. Um, this is my fingering weight scrap or like partial ball bag. It is chockers, I think. Yeah, I did add to it. Um, so this is fingering weight or smaller. So there's a bit of like baby mo not baby mohair but mohair um or fluffy stuff um so yeah that kind of sits underneath this cupboard here um okay sock yarn i have quite a few skeins of nitpicks felici which i bought um to put through my sock machine i haven't um done that yet um because i've been having issues with making the heels and toes or i can do one and then the other ruins it and i don't want to keep wasting the felici because it's not in it's not cheap but it's not expensive sorry but it's kind of annoying um for me to keep wasting it so i need to keep practicing on these little turning heels I need to get practicing on my machine before i waste any more good yarn uh, this is Three Mums Yarn. It is cloudy with a chance of sunshine. My friend Robin actually knit herself a jumper or a cardigan. It was a hoagie pattern. In this, I plan on making socks. Um, but like I said, having issues with that. And I'd actually like to make the whole sock on the machine with this. Um, this is such a special skein to me. This is Pickle & Co. Um, and Marnie doesn't dye yarn anymore. And I've lost contact um, with her. Um... But it was so beautiful. I loved it. Oh, my coffee in my Pickle & Co mug is just up there on my desk. Um, so I think it would make a really lovely pair of socks. It's called Nina. Um, so I will never de-stash this yarn. And it's one of those skeins where sometimes I think maybe I won't even knit it because I just love it. Um, and I loved Marnie so much. Ah, uh, okay. Um, some more... Oh, actually, in here is my swatch from my stone crop. Sorry, excuse me, one of my swatches. Um, now that I look at it, I can see it wasn't big enough. I, I actually need squat, I swatched three times. I think this was my last one. My project ended up not being right. Um, it was too big. And I think like the swatch was really too small for me to be able to have any like decent read on it based on this so anyway more Felici um, for socks okay um, oh yes okay we're on to fingering right now this is um, it's called sparkle sock oh sorry it's sparkle sock um, tonal amethyst by she's now um, three cats yarn not down under dire so from Mel um, I really like this so I haven't done anything with it yet. It'll be a pair of socks. This is Ching Fiber. It is called Melted Suri. It's a heavy fingering weight yarn. I bought this from Stephen and Penelope. No, Loop London. Maybe. I don't remember where I bought this from. In the Yarn Break. Art Break Yarn Tour vlog. I'd say when I, where I bought that. Um, 
just trying to find the best bag to put those in, don't know. Okay, um, other yarn which has projects. So I bought, I have six skeins of this. It is um, BC Garn Alino. Uh, it is a linen, cotton linen blend. And I, I've bought this last year to make a Rift Tea by Jacqueline Seaslack from the um, Embody book, which is in my bookshelf. I just haven't, um, I have not made it yet. When I get home from my trip, I think that's something that I will cast on because I'd like to wear it for summer. I have like, oh gosh, seven or eight skeins of this Bellissimo 4, which is 100% merino extra fine, um, in dark navy, and that was from my stone crop, um, which obviously I have frogged, or actually I've just stopped knitting, um, so these are like sweater or actual project quantities, so they get their own little bag um, here. Other four ply fingering ish weight yarn I have. I bought this very recently. You'll actually on my next video I talk about it in my acquisitions. This is from Ash and Eve Designs. It's Drusilla Vampire Slayer Collection. Um, I think a muscle bag hat. I was going to take it travel knitting, but I've got another plan now. This is Chili Knits. I've lost the tag because um, I'm going to crank it in my sock machine. I have two skeins of Yarn Trader. This is single, silk and single four ply fingering. Um, the colorway is called um, Daff, Bridget and Daphne. Um, and I bought these to make a gully washer shawl, but now I'm not, I bought the pattern too, but I'm not super sure about it. This uh, is Jenny. It's 50% merino, 50% silk, eight ply DK. Um, it's by We Love Knitting, who don't knit and don't dye anymore. Um, so it's one of those reasons why like I've, kept it because I don't know what to do with it and also um it's my washing machine <laughs> once they're done you know it's like oh I want to keep it maybe I don't not sure and this is another saltwater yarn um, which I think would make a really lovely pair of socks too this is called sailor's delight I was a sailor at the time so I thought I really liked the idea of that actually I might add that in the contention for travel knitting <laughs> Cause I think the pattern that I've chosen will look really nice in that. Um, so in this, I kind of try to store yarn um, in similar weight bags and then also um, not intentionally, but kind of similar colors too. So like this bag here is mostly pink, but also now it's half full. So I will need to find some more. This here, um, was to do a find your fade, the pattern's in the bag. Um, these are three, are uh, Knit Picks Hawthorne Fingering. That is a Madeline Tosh. This is, uh, I think that might be Mad Tosh as well. And then this is a um, skein I bought um, from Stephen and Penelope on the Heartbreak Yarn Tour. And I had a project in mind when I bought these skeins, but I don't think I'll make it. So probably gonna add that to my de-stash pile. Yay, this is good. This, I'm glad I'm doing this because I definitely have yarn to get rid of. This here is Three Mums Yarn. I bought this in 2018 um, and I'm going to make a Sipola or a Spike. I've been meaning to do that since that time when I bought this yarn. It was bought for the pattern. Um, so it's like three navy, very navy blues slash dark colors here and then this one skein of it's called peaking purple and it's um a spark it's sparkle sock so it will it's got gold stellina um so these are together here because they have a project in mind um okay these three were bought for a wild it was a um andrew maori pattern wild something shawl uh, they are la bien Ami. I bought them at LBA when I went to Paris in 2019. Um, I have sometimes thought about these stashing them, but I do just think they're a really lovely trio or would make like a really nice Brio duo. Um, so, and these ones are Cash Lux Merino, I think. Oh no, Merino Super Sock, Merino Super Sock, and then Cash Merino. Um, so... I like the three of them together a lot. 
this is Undercover Otter. Um, this was called Ghost Town. It's like a very barely dyed cream. Actually, it could be naturally undyed. It still costs the same amount. <laughs> um, uh, it's Singularity. It's Undercover Otter. But I think I might add that to the de-stash pile. Um, this here is Finch Yarns in a grey. It's called the Good Sock. Um, it's a beautiful grey. So that's why I've kept it. I think it will come in handy at some point. I have a Primrose Yarn Company. This is Dream Warriors. Um, I've got two other Primrose skeins in my D-stash um, pile here. These. Ooh, what was that? Um, these two. This is also a D-stash. Um, this is in my D-stash pile. They're already listed in my D-stash on Ravelry, but I think I probably should actually <laughs> advertise them better. And then this I got in a swap. This is a homespun house. Um, the colorway is called Dumbledore's Army. Oh no, Weasley is our king. This could be really nice travel knitting too. Um, got that from a lovely lady named Sil Ricky in a um, fiber shared D stash. Uh, fiber share swap, sorry. All right, let's just um, put these away real quick. We might do some more. Okay, back to some Aussie dyers or an Aussie dyer. This is Cass from Skip Rope Yarn Co. These came as a trio set last year. Again, I think would make really lovely brio duo. They would make a nice brio duo. That would be a stunning brio duo. So I'm reluctant to get rid of these three because together they are just stunning. And I think I have a three color shawl brioche ish shawl in mind. Um, I got these for when I bought my Socula sock machine. These are, um, the brand is Jagger Spun. Jagger, yeah, Jagger Spun. Um, it's from Maine. Um, so they will look really lovely, particularly these two on the end, which are striping, will look really lovely when they run through my sock machine. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm having issues with making full socks right now. I could do it for a bit and then I didn't practice for a long time. So that's what happens. You lose touch. Okay. Oh, I love this next, um, this next set. Okay. So I won't get these out. I don't think we have none of our yarns, none of our yarns, none of our yarns. This is um, Pigeon Studio, Pigeon Something Studio. I keep saying this, this, this. You can't see. Nanabar, Nanabar, Nanabar. Pigeon Studio, which is from America. That's a spun um, by Pam Huntley. And then these two here are Quince and Company. Um, Lark, which I don't actually know what Lark is. I bought them in a D stash. Um, so I need to figure out what weight yarn weight of yarn that is um, and I will probably do something with those. I would really like to make a what the fade oh no sorry I was gonna make a no it is a what the fade that's what it's good these are gonna be. I think I need a sixth color which is why I haven't made it yet. They were originally bought for a find your fade um, and then I've decided I didn't want to do that. Um, trying to show you a completed picture without giving the pattern away, which is really hard. Yeah, so it's like got a brioche start and then garter. It's very big, like a wrappy thing. Um, oh yeah, so it needs six colors. I did have a green in here, but I feel like they're all too purpley or pinky. Um, let's just adjust that a little bit. Okay, that is I was going to say most of it. It's mm, probably kind of most of it. Um, this is Nit Picks. It's in my D stash. I probably actually would give it away for free at this point. Okay. Um, some more sock yarn. This is um, sock yarn that I want to hand knit just because um, I like, I, I hate winding gobstopper balls to put them through my machine. Um, and it's, I like self, I like to knit, 
I love looking at self striping knit up on my machine, but I also quite enjoy hand knitting. So um, this is Scrumptious Pearl, um, Cola Girl Collective, Rainbow and Sprinkles, Ash and Eve, and then these two are, uh, that's an Arnie and Carlos, which I think they both are, um, but they're called like Perfect Sock, so um, you can make the socks exactly match. Um, this is a mini skein set I got so lovely, was given by Susan of Ash and Eve Designs. Um, and I'm, I haven't decided what I'm doing with them yet. I think they're so beautiful. I'm actually really tempted to make a hexy love actually. Um, but instead of like alternating the skeins, just like making, um, the hexies out of this color, but crochet eats yarn really significant, like quite much more than knitting. So that could be a problem. Um, this was bought in Singapore to make a little um, um unicorn. I have the pattern somewhere, not sure. So that's together. Um, this was my Free Cats Yarn um, Christmas Advent Kit um, in this bottom half here. They were 10 gram minis. Um, and then I've got these which are um, 20 it's 100 grams, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so five 20 gram mini skeins from Mel, um, which are cute. And then these ones here are from Finch Yarn. Um, I think I bought these last year at the, so at the Fiber Fest. Um, so I do have quite a lot of random minis like this. So I'm thinking that maybe they would together with some of my scraps. It would be nice if I could put them together in color families and then make that blanket. That would be good. So in the meantime, all of these minis are just chilling together in this bag here. I have some cotton yarn for when I eventually or occasionally feel like making um, dishcloths or like face washes. I've got three skeins here of vintage tea set by Three Cats, um, which Mel gifted me for my birthday. Um, we became friends this year, so that was so lovely of her. And I'm going to buy a fourth skein she's got put aside for me because I'm going to make a cardigan. It's a sport weight, I think. Um, yeah, it's a Merino 5 ply sport, so I do have a pattern. It's a um, another Jackie C's like pattern. And then this here is a Daffodil Road. It's called Black Velvet. It was my February gift hamper yarn um, from Daffodil Road. But I can't, I don't know where I'm going to, I'm not sure where I will use that. So we'll keep that separate. And then I just have a whole heap of Morrison Sons Estate yarn. I've got 8 ply, 12 ply, and I think that's 12 as well. Oh, there, there's the other uh, Kelborn woolen. Um, I have bought all of this yarn in 12 ply but I actually like making the animals in 14 so kind of annoying um, but it is what it is. This is a mini skein set from Circus Tonic and the reason I hadn't got rid of it age or like gifted it or whatever ages ago was because um, she'd stopped dying but uh, Hannah's dying again so I might actually put that in a podcast giveaway. Um, and then I have some um, stroll socks that a friend of mine who I do, I do a yarn swap with Paula sent me um, a whole kit to make some summer, she's summerly designs I think, um, socks. And so because of that, um, she has a sock collection. Um, and, oh my gosh, okay, I think one line. <laughs> um, she came up with a sock pattern collection. Um, so I haven't actually knit any of them. They're colorwork socks, but I definitely plan on doing that next year. Okay, I'm going to pause this here, put some of this stuff away, and then we'll move to the projects that, the yarn that I have projects for. Okay, different angle. We are in the yarn that has a project waiting for it section of my stash. I also have jars of mini skeins. Oh, okay. This is wound for the next color on my Pierre shawl. 
Uh, and then that will be the final color. So these yarns are sitting here. Very recently, I pulled everything off these shelves, got in there, dusted, vacuumed, cleaned them. Um, so they're all beautifully dust free, but regardless, my yarn is still kept in packages. So this here, um, Pirate Pearl Yarns, um, Blackbeard 4-ply fingering. I've owned it for a couple of years. I bought it from Skein Sisters when Pirate Pearl was um, when Katrina was Dyer of the Month, so probably 2018 or 19, I imagine. And then these here are Rosehip Island Sock Minis. I think it's a pack of five. It's 85% Australian Superwash, 15% Nylon. And I'm going to make the Solaris Shawl by Melanie Berg, I think. Solaris, definitely. Not sure about who the designer is now that I've said that. This yarn here is all a homespun house. Um, it's two skeins of... Um, cash merino or cashmere merino in passenger then there's fresh sheets mohair and then um, the mini bunch and this is together all held together to make the cozy comfort shawl I think it's called I don't exactly know the designer of that one off the top of my head either this here are four skeins of knit craft and knittery um, one I did cut into and rewind because I swatched for it and then um, decided not to use this. So this is actually in the de-stash pile. I do tentatively have a plan for it, but I'm, that colorways are not my, not my jam so much anymore. And I don't know that I want to make a whole sweater out of it. So that's four skeins. It's like 1600 meters. It's a, it's a sweater quantity. Um, these here, is for um, these for a daffodil road yarn company um, it's a pink marshmallow vintage rose winter and grape set these four here and then there's a stitch craft and wizardry skein which is fun at the wonkers um, Birthday fun at the Wonkers on House of Liberty. I'm actually thinking I might gift this to a friend um, on my trip. So I'll pull that one out. And then finally, uh, this yarn actually doesn't have a pattern. <laughs> but I bought all of this when I was overseas. Um, so these are um, were bought for an eyeball shawl by Stephen West. Um, oh, sorry, these two and these two. They are for Valborg. I bought them at Stephen and Penelope. It was a like special collaboration. Um, and then there's this Cameron, which is a fuchsia pink. I really like it, but I can't see where I'm going to use it. I almost made um, the shawlography with this set, uh, and then I, I decided no. So I think I'm going to add that to D-Stash. This is Life in the Long Grass. It's called Harvest. I bought this in England from Loop London. Um, Rio Duo. Beautiful, stunning. Actually. Shawl Trio. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, and then these four I love together. I love together. So... They may end up still becoming an eyeball shawl. I'm not entirely sure. And that is a tour of my stash. I don't have anything else other than mini skeins. And this scone of bear yarn, which is left over from my... Um, blanket. <laughs> my Christmas advent blanket. Okay, well, I'm my 2D stash pile has grown, not significantly, but I've added probably like five or six skeins to that. So I think um, after I clean my house, I will get to uploading those to Ravelry. Um, and then hopefully someone will take them off my hands before I go, which is some more yarny spending money for me. Thank you for joining me. I hope this wasn't too boring. Um, I will do some stash, stash requisitions on my way back from a trip. Um, my next thing is choose the projects that I'm taking with me. Thank you for watching. Um, if you've not, if you're new here, this is probably not the greatest video <laughs> as I go through my gluttonous yarn stash uh, and talk about buying more. 
I'm Mad Belt and Ravelry, Mad About You on Instagram and um, yeah, follow along on my travels and enjoy the back catalogue if that's what tickles your fancy. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.